Hi everyone, with Calvin here. So um, let's discuss about B weekly contest six. Um, second question: Minimum swap to group all one together. So we are given an input of an array. So and then after that, um, we're being asked to return the number of swap operation to make all the one together, right? So here you can see um, if we swap this one to the second area, then we only require one swap and then everyone will be together and the uh, second way of doing it is by moving this one to here and then all one will be together also so the minimum operation is one swap um, there is exam example of two swap but we will take the minimum one which is one swap and second example we only have num one number of one so the output will be zero we don't require any swap and the third example here um, we need a three time swap so how we're going to do this um, question is by using the um, sliding window algorithm. So how is it doing is basically um, we count every number of one here, right? We count every number of one here. So let's say here we have six number of one, right? So we need to target which area we want to land. Like for example here, let's say it's here, right? We want everyone to be here. Right, so some of the one is already in place, but um, there are there are number of zero there. So um, because the number of one you already know in total is six, so the number of empty area there will be our answer. So we just need to slide it through. Like um, first we try this six, the answer will be three. We try this six, the answer will be four the six here the answer will be three again and the six here the answer will be three and the six here the answer will be three depends on how many number of zero in our range of six so we, we got six from the number of one in total so yeah that's it so yeah as i explained before we count the number of one so we add all of the number of one there and then the current number of one, I look through zero until six. So we initialize our sliding window algorithm, which come from the first six array. And then we check all the one it contains there, right? And then after that, we look through first index. So we, we try to move, right? When we try to move it, um, uh, yeah. So the initial output will be number of one in total minus current number of one, which is a uh, range from zero until index five uh, at the example. Um, but when we try to slide, um, so we slide to index number one as the start. So we try to reduce the number of one we, we left. So from this six, we move to this six, right? So we need to exclude, if the first number is one, then we try to reduce it by one. And if the new, array, new index being added in is a one, then we add one inside and then we calculate the number of total number of one minus um, number of one in the array and that's basically the number of zero so we keep calculating the minimum of it and then we will return the output once we finish all the iteration like first six second six um, third six and so on after we finish the loop and then we return the output yeah so that's it for the this question. Um, thank you for watching. See you on the next weekly contest.